Hey guys, if you're like me, you've looked at the all Fifi and you've probably thought, it really looks like he just took a blank piece of metal, cut a hook out, and welded it onto the end of just a standard ratchet strap that you would get at the hardware store. And in today's video, I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna weld this on there, I'm gonna hold on to that, but I'm gonna take all the parts that came on this ratchet strap right here, I'm gonna cut the hook and the webbing off of this end, and I'm gonna weld the hook back onto the other end and make my own Fifi, uh, all Fifi. I think I got two of these straps for like $8 at the hardware store, so that's pretty cheap, especially when you compare it to Scott's uh, all Fifi. I think his is great, I think his is amazing, but um, someone like me that I can weld and I like tinkering with stuff, I think this is a fun little project. So here in just a minute, I'm gonna get on the table and we're gonna get started. Okay guys, so with this ratchet strap, um, it's not as much a ratcheting strap, it's just a pull style strap. And it really works out well because uh, one end has a sewn loop already on it. I should mention, I don't know what this loop's rated for. I don't know what those stitches are rated for. Um, but I'm gonna take that chance because it is not a PAS. It's not something that's gonna attach me to the wall. It's just uh, an aid piece. But first thing I'm gonna do is I don't need this hook on this end. So I'm gonna cut that off of there. And then cut this hook off of here. Cause we're gonna take one of these two hooks and we're going to cut it down, I think right here. Peel off all this uh, coating on here. And once that's done, we can bust out the welder and weld it on. Now if you're doing this, you could probably get away with bolting it on. Um, but I have a welder, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna get this off of here. There we go. With all that material off of there, we're down to the buckle, two hooks, and the strap. We don't need one of those hooks. I just got this here because I think it's pretty cool. We want to grind off the paint on this, and this isn't a paint as much as a coating. I'm hoping with a knife I can score it all the way around and peel it off. So I have scored it all the way along the back and now as you can see, it's just a coating. It's not adhered to the metal. We need this off for me to be able to weld. I need bare metal. I've got a little cap left on there. That's gone now. I'm not too worried about the rest of the material down here because I'm gonna cut this hook right there and that'll come right off at that point. So I'm gonna bust out a grinder here and start grinding everything down and making my cuts. With the paint ground off this and this portion cut off the hook and this little portion cut off the hook, I can now look at welding the hook onto here. And it's gonna be very important uh, to get this hook straight and centered. You don't wanna have it off to this side or this side. You wanna have the center of this hook straight center line above that. Once I get it welded on, I'm gonna grind off any um, booger welds, anything like that, anything, any sharp edges. Shouldn't really have any booger welds. I can do half decent, but yeah, get off all the sharp edges, make sure all that's cleaned up, and then uh, we just gotta feed this back through. So let's get to welding. Now that I have uh, the hook, cleaned up, I got that buckle ground down. I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a tack. Once it's tacked, I'm gonna take a look at it and make sure everything looks straight and square and looks good. And then once I'm happy with it, I'll fully weld it up. So let's get this thing tacked on here. The welder I'm using is nothing special. It's just a little flux core welder. Take a look at that and if everything looks good we'll weld it up on both sides and at that point all there really is left to do is put the webbing back on. Alright I've taken a look at it and I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's pretty straight so we're going to go ahead and finish welding this up right here. At this point it is Probably about 90% done. There really isn't much work to it. So I'm gonna let this thing cool off. We'll get it cleaned up a little bit. I'm pretty confident that hook is straight, straight as it needs to be. If it is not straight, that buckle will twist on you as you pull it and it'll cause the um, webbing 
instead of pulling straight through it'll cause it to pull to the side so you want to make sure that it's on there straight so I'll get this cleaned up let it cool off knock off some sharp edges and we'll get the webbing back on there we have the hook welded on now I took a grinder and I ground off some sharp edges now on a flux core welder you're not going to get pretty MIG welds but they are strong they'll hold just fine for this um, so at this point we will add the webbing back to it and I'll check the length and I'll tie a knot in the end maybe burn the end and we'll uh, go test it a little bit and see how it feels. To install this webbing correctly, um, take the end without the sewn loop on it and you are going to feed it in from the top, pull it on down and through, and take that sewn loop and then feed it back through that hole right there. The way this will work, you will girth hitch this into your harness. That is what will suspend you and then um, as you need to move up and make progress in the climb, you can pull this end. At this point, I have cut off excess webbing, tied a knot in it, I might burn that later. And then, like I said before, the other end has a sewn loop. Let me remind you, don't know what this is rated for. I'm sure it's way less than what you would get on the all Fifi. I'm sure the stitches will fail way sooner than what the all Fifi fell at, but for a piece of aid gear that you're not going to use to connect you to the wall like a PAS, I'm fine with that. So let's, um, I'm going to take this thing outside, try to get some clips of me testing it, and then we'll come back and talk about what we think about it. I've had a chance to come outside and use the all free free I made, and this thing is awesome. I love it so much. I'm going to have some footage of me using it on lead, and um, you might catch a glimpse of a special guest we have he's up there in a porter ledge uh someone i've been talking to for a while finally got a chance to meet him he's a pretty cool dude um but yeah no check it out i hope you liked it homemade all free free for the win all right caution here don't maybe bounce this a little bit Circle head in there. I tried. Uh, I tried placing. He said the circle heads. You think's good? The circle head. I'm pretty sure is good. Oh my god! It's a duck. Bit. Rip out! Rip out! Rip out! Rip out! It's good. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. I wasn't able to get as many clips of me testing this as I wanted. I was kind of focused on uh, actually just climbing and not really hardcore testing it. But um. But I will say that I did do some hard um, bounce tests on a static point and sat down as hard as I could several times. The webbing didn't break, um, so that's going to be more force than I think I would normally do while actually aiding. Um, I find it really, really easy to feed it out and then pull it back again. Um, I was worried that was gonna be an issue because I think Scott's has some little extra piece there. I'm not really sure, but it feeds out beautifully, pulls back in and I'm coming from someone that's been using the Metolius Easy Daisies for a while and those are just really a pain, I think, to use. I'm not a huge fan of them and they're not rated so it's like a lot of hassle for something that's not rated. Um, but yeah, so I did hard bounce test. It didn't, it didn't break. It didn't rip the stitching. Um, that might change over time. You know, if this thing starts wearing down, I'm going to change out the webbing. Uh, feeds in and out really well. Um, going to have to get used to using a piece that isn't tethered to my ladder. So I'm kind of figuring out what system I like. If I want to continue having tethers on my ladders or just clipping the ladder to a piece and hooking this on. I'm just worried that if it the piece blows, I'm going to drop my ladder. So uh, let me know what you think, what, what you guys like to do, how, how you like to work your systems. Um, I'm going to leave a link down below for Scott's All Fifi. Um, I'd recommend getting that if you're not comfortable making your own stuff and not willing to assume responsibility for yourself because you're making your own climbing gear. So if you make your own, you have to know that if it fails, it's on you. You know, you made it. But um, if you're someone like me that likes to tinker, I think even filming the video, I knocked this thing out in like 20 minutes. It's really simple, really easy to do. You could always bolt the hook on um, if you don't have a welder. Um, 
it's just kind of whatever your risk tolerance is, I guess is a good way of putting it. But no, I'm a big fan. I'm gonna keep using it. I'm gonna keep playing with it and figure out uh, how I can integrate it into my system to be as efficient as, efficient as I can be. Um, if you like the video, do me a favor, give me a subscribe and a like, leave a comment. I respond to all comments, all dozen of you that comment. I've been able to keep up and respond to all of you. But uh, I'm gonna have more content coming out here like this, more, uh, I got another aid video planned coming up, uh, like kind of instructional video. I got it kind of hidden away on the desk over there. We're gonna be making some more stuff, um, aid oriented, and we'll see how that goes and what you guys think about it. But I hope you liked it. You have a good one.